Welcome again. This video is especially made for students taking the Environmental Systems and Societies exams in May 2017 because you will be facing a brand new examination format and to this end it is absolutely important that you get a copy of this new Environmental Systems and Societies guide and that you understand the significant differences between this exam structure and assessment structure and the ones of the past. But before we go into the guide to take a look at some of the details, I would like to give a special shout out to all of my students at the Shanghai American School Pushi campus. So here you can see the ESS guide for first exams in 2017. And this year, the ESS exam takes on a completely new format with paper one comprising just a case study. If you look at past ESS exams before 2017, you would note that the case study formed a part of paper two. And as you study and prepare for the 2017 examination, it is important to note that the case study would form just a one hour examination carrying a weight of 25% and that on the following day you would be assessed in paper 2 which carries a weight of 50% and in this paper the short answer questions which were typical of the old paper 1 would now form a part of paper 2 and section B of paper 2 would include the structured essay questions where you are required to do two out of a choice of four questions. But of special significance beginning this year in May 2017 is the way that the final part of these questions in section B will be assessed. Just as in the past in section B of paper 2 where candidates were required to answer two structured essay questions the same is required now. But now for the first time the final part of each essay in section B will be worth nine marks and it will be scored according to a mark band. It is very useful for students to consider what this mark band looks like before the examination day. And here you can see a copy of what this mark band would look like. Of course, any student should be aiming to fall in the highest mark band, where the response should contain substantial evidence of sound knowledge and understanding of ESS issues and concepts a wide breadth of knowledge with statements effectively linked with each other to the context of the question and consistently appropriate and precise use of ESS terminology, effective use of pertinent well-explained examples where required showing some originality and thorough well-explained insightful analysis, explicit judgments or conclusions that are well supported by evidence or arguments that include some critical reflection. The 2017 syllabus in terms of content remains very similar to the courses of the past but the layout of the ESS guide is now different and as you study it is important to take on each section by looking first at the knowledge and understanding required but it's very important to spend more time writing notes on the applications and skills. Here in section 1 subtopic 1.2 of the ESS guide we see a, a very important and central application to construct a system diagram or a model from a given set of information and throughout the course as I've shown in previous lessons it is imperative that you construct good systems diagrams to show the interaction between different components of the environment the biotic and the abiotic components and of course to show how the human environment interacts with the natural environment and how the natural environment impacts society.